my darlings and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Petra. Uh, if you watched me before, thank you so much for coming uh, back. For today's video, I have something interesting and I hope you're gonna like it as well. It's spring outfit ideas, more like winter to spring and transitional uh, outfits so I can give you little ideas. I put together uh, different outfits regarding some focal points that I think are great in this like beginning of spring and like I said transitional period so I can help you with outfit ideas uh, so I'm pretty sure all of us is super excited about spring and we are so done with cold weather and winter and I wanted to put uh, together different looks that I think are uh, great for the beginning of spring and like I said that transition from uh, winter time which can be quite tricky spring in itself you know it's very opinionated, one day it can be really hot, one day it can be really cold, so you know, it, you need to layer up. Uh, so I put together different looks and for each of looks I have a um, certain like point that I wanted to make with this outfit. So I think whatever your personal style is, uh, this uh, like advices regarding outfits can really help you to elevate your spring uh, looks. So hopefully you're gonna find that interesting. If you do, don't, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and let's get started. First look that I wanted to uh, show you it's regarding knitted uh, dresses and everything of course on outfits I'm gonna show you on the screen as well. Uh, mine is this uh, like a beigey uh, sleeveless one from H&M. Uh, when I say knitted dresses, uh, of course, they can be all different options. You can go for longer, shorter ones with sleeves or without the sleeves like mine. Or you can have even like skirts or something like that. So it doesn't have to be, of course, something like this. But knitted dresses, as you know, probably come in all different ways all different shapes, forms, colors, and so on and so on. Why am I putting this here? Because I think this is a great transitional piece because uh, it's knitted, obviously, so it's gonna have that warmth that in those days, you know, when it's sunny outside and weather looks nice, but actually it's more windy, the weather is not really super hot or something like that so it's gonna keep you warm but still because it's a dress you get to play around and enjoy a little bit more and step aside from jeans and pants and um, stuff like that uh, and makes you a little bit more excited for springtime also i think they are super versatile because you can wear them on so many different ways um, you can wear like tights underneath or if it's warm outside uh, enough you don't have to wear tights you can wear them just as themselves you can wear like with shirts underneath or without anything you know if they're sleeveless you can show your arms if it's warm outside enough you can cinch yourself in the waist you can put leather uh, jackets on top I mean you can just play around on so many different ways with blazers I think it's one of those things that it's worth having in your wardrobe because you can definitely wear it um, on so many different ways you can wear you can wear dresses but at the same time you're still gonna be warm so it's not like you're gonna freeze you know so in this way you can compromise and have like the best of both worlds like you said uh, you can definitely find whatever style works the best for you. There are different lengths, different colors, different cuts. You can go also for skirts and just generally play around, but it's just right amount of material so you don't freeze, but you're not boiling at the same time. I think it's one of those things you can buy it uh, for every price point and also if you are able to give like, maybe a little bit more money for like a cashmere or wool or cotton ones uh, something that's gonna last in your wardrobe for quite a long time i think that's also worth it because uh, it can last you years and years on and you can like i said wear it on so many different uh, ways then next are prints obviously i think quite obvious for springtime and here i'm not just talking about floral prints which is First thing that maybe pops into your mind when you think about springtime, but I think all different uh, kind of prints. Like just think about it, whatever that your personal style is. Uh, you can go for animal prints, for zebra prints. I mean, that is an animal print, but that's, for example, something I really do like. But also different like geometrical prints, colorful ones. You know, just think about different patterns, different prints. I think that's a perfect thing to wear uh, in springtime. It just makes you a little bit more excited for this time of the year and you can go for all different kinds of uh, pieces of clothing to start with uh, you can go for something like a dress uh, here i have this one uh, which is in a floral print but again this is mine uh, you can go for whatever kind of print like i said that you like i love because it's in this light color and it has this nice 
uh, yellow, yellow and green uh, flower moment on it so obviously it's quite suitable for springtime uh, whatever is your personal style I think uh, this is really the time when you should just play around and just incorporate all different kinds of prints uh, in your wardrobe and don't be afraid to mix them around I love these kind of dresses because like I said nothing really says spring more than like a printed floral or whatever other kind of print dress and you can then pair them with something that's maybe more wintry for this transitional period in my case I would wear this with Doc Martens uh, uh, underneath or whatever kind of maybe chunky military boot that you prefer I love that mix of like maybe more feminine and floral uh, or print kind of dresses with something more masculine so to say uh, first of all you can wear boots so they're gonna keep you warm you know like I said in those days when I'm sure it's hot or it's not uh, you can wear boots to keep you warm but also I think it balances out you know on one side you have something that's a little bit more casual and masculine so to say and something that's more like feminine uh, I think these two things really complement each other really nicely I would suggest go maybe for something mid-length uh, dress or you can go for a full length or something like that because um, they're great uh, in those in that transitional period because they're longer so they're gonna keep you warmer than a shorter dresses you can if it's a little bit more cold outside you can wear tights underneath them uh, but they won't even be visible uh, especially if you have some like boots underneath so nobody will even see that you have tights underneath but I think um, this is a great classic option something that honestly I see years and years on coming in so you can just think about uh, what kind of print that you like what kind of style is uh, the best for you and have some dresses uh, that you just know you can wear during this period of time and just pair it with your more wintry stuff also I wanted to mention uh, regarding prints you don't have to go just for uh, dresses um, because I think that's first thing that pops at our mind when we say spring and uh, floral and stuff like that I have here if this would want to close that would be awesome um, I shown in uh, my previous video I got this one uh, this top which is a corset actually it's also in foreign print because I'm obviously not that interesting when it comes to prints but that's me you know just think outside the bo box I got this uh, corset uh, floral design which in my personal opinion looks a little bit um, vintage so to say also I think this is a great way to incorporate some kind of prints into your outfit it's without maybe uh, committing to big pieces of clothing or something like that you can pair it with all different more basic uh, pieces like white shirts um, white shirts jeans and all of that and make it instantly more interesting of course I'm going to show you this on as well think about some other pieces not uh, and not just dresses regarding prints uh, also here I shown this in my previous video this uh, floral uh, blouse that I got so I mean there are all different kinds of things you can think about not just dresses like I said it can be corsets uh, blouses it can be pants it can be shirts all different things in different kind of patterns I think uh, now it's really time when you want to wear them so just find whatever works uh, the best for you this is uh, my kind of style I wear this with all my other more neutral classic things don't even have to worry about just like a white t-shirt underneath some jeans or something like that and you're basically done so obviously prints when you're gonna wear them if not in the springtime is uh, let me comment down below what's your like a favorite print to wear when it comes to springtime is it floral is it some animal geometrical what kind of color combination do you really are like the most excited to wear when it comes to this uh time of the year i would really love to know and next uh outfits that I'm gonna show you here on the sides are regarding uh, blazers and I think I may be getting a little bit boring with the blazers but uh, my point is that having a good blazer all year round is really gonna be <laughs> best friend to you but I think in springtime they really come to shine because when you think about winter it's cold I think wherever you live you need to wear a jacket or a good coat and they don't even come to light I would say I think having a good blazer in the springtime and having a blazer as a piece of clothing that's gonna be like a, a focal point of an outfit is great classic safe option but also something that you can adapt to your own personal style there's so many different uh styles and colors and shapes and I mean 
cuts you can go for all different things and find something that that speaks to you and then you can just pair it with all different kinds of uh things in your wardrobe and make a lot of different outfits uh, i'm gonna show you what's my personal style and how i would style them so you can maybe have uh, some inspiration but of course you go for whatever uh, speaks the best for you. Really what I love about springtime is you can just wear all your blazers and just let them shine and be like the star of your outfit. You can opt basically as that extra layer so you can wear them as a jacket but also they are fashionable, they are statement piece. I mean there's something that just when you have them in your wardrobe you're gonna be really thankful that you got them because you can wear them on so many different ways. You can make them more um, dressed up, more uh, casual, whatever you want to do. So for example I wanted to show you this one which is a wool blazer is something that's great like I said to have all year round but in springtime on those days you know when it's a little bit chilly outside but it's not really a type of weather you wouldn't uh, you want to wear a jacket good wool blazer is gonna opt as a jacket it's gonna shine on its own so it, you can wear it much longer than just in the winter time also for those days when it's a little bit hotter outside having like a, a linen blazer something like this but of course you can go for whatever kind of color scheme or shapes and cuts you wanna extra layer and make the outfit a little bit more interesting but because it's linen it's something that's very breathable something that won't keep you uh, that won't make you sweaty or hot but um, like when when temperature changes during day and gets a little bit chilly uh, it's a great to have with you and like I said you can pair them basically with anything just them a little bit more casual more dressed up basically options are really endless uh, also I wanted to show you this uh, navy one which is more like a fitted tailored uh, blazer so um, you can wear something like that as well like I said if you have just one then focus on that one see what all kind of different outfit options you can make uh, and I think it's great uh, to have it in your wardrobe especially like when you're in a rush and you want to dress up but you don't want to you don't have a lot of time to think about what you're going to wear but you still want to look put together having that basic outfit is always keep you safe you're always gonna look like i said put together but that effortless chic you know you didn't really try and uh, you always look good you don't really have to worry about it next uh outfit is actually regarding what i'm right now wearing and that's this uh sweatshirt mine is sweatshirt but generally i wanted to mention uh this uh, type of sweatshirts or jumpers which are white with this like uh, dark navy or brown stripes i think this is a great option if you uh, are maybe on that safer side and you don't really want to play around that much with prints and different colors and everything but you still want to change some things up especially when it gets to springtime i don't know why but this print to me instantly says spring and nicer weather this kind of print which is also as classic as it gets so it's something that you can wear years and years on and you don't really have to worry how it pair how it won't pair with your other things that you have in your wardrobe for me i don't know why please let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me but this for me it's a spring moment it's like a spring uh pattern design call it however you want i don't know why it's not that i wouldn't wear it in the winter time but it just instantly makes me think about nicer weather sun is shining french riviera and stuff like that so i think this is such a easy and a classic way to add um, uh, add something that's more springish and something that's like i said more appropriate for spring period um, it's, you can pair them basically with anything uh me personally i would suggest go for something that's either more casual like a sweatshirt or you can go for a sweaters or jumpers um also you can put them like on top of your shoulders and have that more like a preppy uh, look pair them with um shirts with pants with jeans i mean what whatever you want and i think they're like i said always look cute stylish effortless uh and i think it's a great addition to your wardrobe i think it's one of those like i said uh safe options that you can uh go for a reach uh if you don't really want to risk it too much with different prints uh, so i think it's like the great option especially for those days when it's a little bit colder outside which we all know it can get but you're bored from all of your like winter clothes and you don't want to wear same brown beige black jumper or sweatshirt or you know all things that you've been wearing uh during winter time and you just want to mix and you just want to wear something that makes you a little bit more excited for the springtime i think this kind of prints 
uh, are perfect for that because like I said instantly it looks a little bit more springish this is a great way you can add um, something classic but interesting at the same time into your wardrobe then next uh, advice uh, regarding outfits uh, in springtime is go for lighter colors and I think this is great uh, similar like the previous one if you're somebody who really doesn't like to experiment a lot or uh, you know what your personal style is and sometimes I think especially when it comes to spring and summer you feel like you should wear I don't know a lot of colorful things and uh, something with prints and all of that that I mentioned before but you're not really sure you know or that's not really your style and or maybe just building your wardrobe and you have a certain budget so you don't really maybe want to risk it with different prints that you're not so sure how many times you're gonna wear them just choose what you would choose anyways just go for lighter colors and that's really easy you can go like uh, instead of classic denim jeans you can go for something like off-white cream also same sweaters jumpers go for something that's lighter something that's more um, a spring kind of color in that way you're gonna wear things that you anyways wear and stay true to your own style but make it more spring spring time uh, appropriate i would say so basically you can have like all beige or white outfit uh, and nothing is gonna be like floral or scream spring but instantly it's a little bit more uh, warmer weather you know appropriate than like wearing full black or something like that also of course uh, you can um, add different pops of color uh, that something that's quite obvious for springtime i would say as well but uh you can also do it in a way that's more more true to your own personal style if you're somebody who really loves colors and really loves to experiment this is the time when you just go for bright bold colors you know like orange green uh there's a lot of lavender happening right now but really like a light lavender as well but i mean all different colors that you have to wear you're like me and you love color but you're not somebody who wears bold colors on regular basis you can still find things that uh, are true to your style but interesting as well for example i have this linen uh, shirt from h&m which is in this yellow color again it's not like some crazy crazy color i mean you haven't seen before but it's yellow and it's interesting it's different from like a regular white or beige or black or something like that so um, instantly it's a little bit more nicer weather uh, appropriate and because it's linen it's great for those hot days as well you can pair it like with white it goes great perfectly so just think about that because I think that's a great option to just adapt your wardrobe and add more value to it so you don't end up buying all things that look the same like I said go to and get maybe something that's like off-white creamish jeans that's like a really easy one because I guess we all wear jeans but this is the way to add something different but it's also classic at the same time and you can pair it with all different things so just try to find things that uh, are maybe lighter and in that way uh, you can uh, add like I said a little bit more value to you to your wardrobe and so that's manual advice I would give to you then next uh, outfit or first of all advice I would give is instead of black go for brown and this coming from somebody who's probably one of my least favorite colors are brown but i'm um, actually finding myself reaching for a lot of brown colors uh, i mean things in brown color uh, recently and i think for springtime it's a great way for all of us who love to wear black and you know just can't stop one stop which i'm not saying you shouldn't wear black during springtime obviously not but i'm saying like if you feel like you know you're uh, repeating yourself and you want to add something that's not black but still like i say stay true to yourself and maybe um add something that's more colorful go for brown i think so you can still stay true to yourself and get like maybe blazers or dresses or tops or just accessories in those colors but uh instantly it's a little bit more different it's a little bit more lighter than brown it's uh something that uh, quite often it's overlooked and I think uh, brown pairs beautifully with white as well so it goes to the previous point uh, this way you can pair um, two things that are more 
springtime, you know, and more nicer weather uh, and makes you excited and a bit more for spring and summer, but still stay true to yourself. So like white creamy jeans and like a brown blazer is still nothing groundbreaking. It's still maybe your own personal style, but it's in different colors, something you wouldn't wear during winter time, maybe necessarily. Also don't forget about our own accessories, like a uh, bags or um, uh, bags or jewelry or belts as well but uh, natural materials uh, already come in brown or at least beige color that complements uh, brown uh, already those materials that um, really like when you see them it's instantly you think about spring and summer like i said maybe some bags or jewelry or something uh, like that and, uh, and last outfit that i have for you guys is regarding uh, tweed. Uh, it's something that maybe it's not everybody's style, uh, but I thought it's great to mention here because like tweed is one of the uh, best materials to wear in that transitional period, so like from winter to spring or from summer to fall. Uh, me personally, I have here this uh, jacket. Of course, uh, you can get whatever you want, whatever your personal style is. This is like more like a fitted Jackie-o moment kind of uh, jacket. I like it because, uh, but it's a nice way to add a different material and textures to your outfit. Uh, you can go for all different kinds of things. You can go for like two-piece sets. You can go for dresses as well. So you can uh, put like shirts underneath them, put tights if it's colder outside, uh, wear them also in the winter. Or uh, like I said, in this transitional period, I think it's great to wear it because you're gonna let the material shine on itself and be like the star of the outfit because in the winter time usually like i said you need to put like a jacket or coat on top and you don't really see the material uh, except of course inside when you're somewhere but i think now it's a great period to wear it because you can get something like this which is like a jacket or a blazer or you can get a dress skirt to piece set and just make it more casual, make it uh, more youthful or make it more dressed up. This usually I pair like with jeans and some sneakers and it's like um, something I know I can throw on and instantly there's something about tweed that makes it look classic I would say um, and like you really tried but when you think about it, it's really nothing special. You can guys know in the comment down below, is it is tweed something that you love to wear or not? I would really love to know, I'm really interested because I think it's like a material, people are usually 50-50, they either like it or hate it. For example, on this something I really didn't like that much because too classic for my own personal style, but uh, I uh, grew to love it because I think you can pair it and make it so much more like casual with like a baggy jeans and some t-shirt and have something that's because it's shorter so it's not like my usual thing that's a bit oversized and longer it really goes well with all like high-waisted jeans and make it super super casual wear something very um, like I said casual on the bottom or top and just put this uh, on top and it's like a nice mix of uh, the both. Guys, okay, those are all the outfits I put uh, for you for springtime and this transitional period from winter to spring to give you guys some inspiration, maybe what uh, you can think about, like what are the points you can think about uh, putting your outfits together. I hope you liked it. Uh, please do let me know in the comments down below which of these outfits are your favorite ones and what are you maybe like the most excited to wear uh, now when the weather is finally getting nicer and we are in the springtime. I would really love to know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I would really appreciate that guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!